But the thing is, is your quality time is very different than my quality yeah. time. Her quality time is And like, your acts of service is very oh. different than my acts of service. Yeah. And that's what kind of the fight was. Welcome back to the Maybound Podcast. I'm Holly. And I'm Ryan. And today we get to talk about something super fun. I don't know what it is, but I have a feeling it's not going to be fun. When I'm you... <laughs> She, well, she has really good subjects, uh, actually. Maybe. Probably not fun for me because maybe it's, it's probably fun. like. Well, it's always based off of pretty yeah, much our arguments. stupid I did in the past week. <laughs> so that's why I'm like, it's probably not going to be fun because it's going to be. She's going to remind me of <laughs> yeah. how I screwed up in and the last it week. absolutely <laughs> is. So when you hate your spouse's love language. I'm, I'm just glad you added <laughs> love language. I thought it was going to be like, when you hate your spouse. And she was just going to end there. <laughs> No, love languages. So yeah. there are five love languages. There is a book written about that. Yep. Um, do you know what the five love languages are, Brian? I do. Quality time. Boom. Acts of service. Uh, he, the first one that he named off. Which one do you think his is? That's the easiest one. That's because I'm easy. <laughs> hey, hardest. acts of service. The hardest one. <laughs> words of affirmation. Did I say quality time? Mm -hmm. um, words of affirmation. That one and this one. And oh, I don't know. I know there's two more. Gifts. Gifts. Oh, that one's an easy one. I knew that. Yeah. Gifts and give me a hint. Never mind. I don't know. <laughs> she probably can't think of a hint because it's just basically telling me what it is. I don't know. What is it? Um, it is. Oh, she doesn't know it. She can't. I know. It. I'm trying oh, to think. Oh, she can't remember. It. <laughs> what is it? What's the fifth one? Words obviously not an important one if we point. can't remember it. <laughs> Acts of service gifts. Acts of service gifts. Quality time. Oh, physical touch. Physical <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> that should be every man's number it one. It should be, but clearly now you know it's not his. <laughs> it has been lately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, physical touch. Well, physical touch. Okay, like let's, let's actually have a disclaimer there. Physical touch is not just night snuggles. Okay. Physical touch is like hugging and kissing and patting on the back and you putting their your, arm. Pat your spouse did a good job today. Well, like, I mean, if you think about it, people who truly have physical touch, they do, they like pat like their friends on the back. Like they're very all, like touchy feeling. I think the majority of old men are quality or are physical touch because they are the touchiest <laughs> people everywhere I go. They're just like hugging Holly and like stroking her arm and all this weird stuff. It's like always these older dudes that are like 60 and 70. Yeah, but are they like patting you on the back? Not me. They're touching you? Not me. They're just touchy with girls. I noticed it's not just Holly. Like I've noticed it just like, hey, hug I think them and that, then like that might just be back. like a generational thing. I know that's what I'm saying. Like, that's why I think that's a generation. It, it, it might not be that they're actually physical touch. It might just be a generational like not under knowing No, boundaries. I agree. I agree. It's a general <laughs> thing. Yeah, but I just don't. I, I, I don't like being touched anyway like by anybody other than like holly uh yeah i just i always wonder what women are thinking when guys are just like rubbing their arms and just talking to them and like talking this far from their face it's just super <laughs> weird don't do that if you're an old man <laughs> all right so obviously if you didn't already guess when brian the first one he named off was quality time that's his and then the second one he named off with acts of service and he said the worst one the hardest. I wouldn't say the worst. <laughs> the I, actually, I would say the worst. That's fine. But you know what's funny? Is that your second one? We acts took the what? test. Yeah, we took the test. I don't think so. Your first one was quality time. Your second one was acts of service. See, but I don't believe that. My, I I think you are. But there, the thing is, okay, my first one was acts of service. And my second one was quality time. But the thing is, is your quality time is very different than my quality yeah. time. Her quality time is And like, your acts of service is very oof. different than my acts of service. Yeah. And that's what kind of the fight was. A so what's bit about. my acts of service? Like your yeah. acts of service. Holly's is easy. Like do easy. the dishes. Whoosh. Yeah, do the then dishes. Then why can't you do it if it's so I'm easy? Not saying, I'm, it's easy to <laughs> explain what it is. It's not easy to do, but it's easy to do. Like, it's easy to say what it is. It's like, like do the dishes, like, vacuum, clean keep, the whole freaking house. No, just keep my house lawn. nice. Like, uh, keep, like, don't start a project and then leave it unfinished for three weeks or three months or three years. I have a, I have a plan. So like Love if I drag things. it out, like if I start no. it, she's like, Ooh, Hey, he loves me. And then like, I leave it for a while and then I come back to it like a month later. 
She was like, oh, he loves me. Cause I'm doing, oh, it's like no. I dragged this thing out oh, for the month. Oh, absolutely not. Because that whole month I'm like, he hates me. He hates me. He <laughs> hates me. He's leaving this there. He started this and now he's leaving it there. It'll be so easy for him to finish. And he hates me. He must hate me. He, he literally hates me. That's what <laughs> I think that whole month. And then when you, and then we get in a big fight, right? About it. And then you finally finish it. And I'm like, thank you. See? And then I, I'm super happy and I give you all of your quality snuggles time. and quality time and everything that you want. And like that whole month, I'm thinking you hate me. And it's okay, we'll just know that I don't. <laughs> well, that's what it feels like. <laughs> <But yeah. laughs> and then when we work too much. Okay. So that's the other thing is, so when we work together, that's like, oh, that just hits yeah, my sweet spot. That's her quality like time. Working thing. together. Yeah. That's my, that's my quality time. It's awful. Like getting crap done yeah. together is amazing and to be able to like watch him i like to watch Ooh. <laughs> I like to so watch. yeah so her quality time is working together doing awful things together <laughs> like not having fun together and that's why she's like oh this is so amazing my quality time is like hanging out and yeah watching a movie your, your quality time is talking yeah talking but we don't talk the problem is, is we don't have the same interests so yeah. i'll be talking about something and she's just like oh my gosh that's, stop talking to me yeah that's that's and, and then she'll start hard. talking to me. And that's why like, I said oh it's gosh, a really hard. That's a really hard love language, quality time. Because it's actually really easy. No, it's not because then I have to like stop all the stuff that I need to get done and sit and like <sighs> twiddle my thumbs. And so is that she's saying my <laughs> conversations are boring? No, she's like, oh gosh, no, I'm not. He's talking well, to me again. Well, what are you saying about <laughs> mine? What your quality time? Yeah, it's not boring. It's just—it's so easy. It's like two kill, awful. kill two bird, two kill, kill two birds with one stone. Like get stuff done. I don't want to be one of the done. birds though. And <laughs> no, you're not. I'm saying get stuff done that needs to be done, and then you're making me feel great and making yeah. me feel loved. Like how easy is that? Like yeah, it's not easy. gifts. It's not like all these other things. Gifts would be easy though because I just buy crap and just psh, give it to you. I think you actually like buying gifts. I do. I actually do. So that's probably my number two. Because I like buying stuff for my kids. No, it's probably your Even crap two. they don't need. I just like buying it. Yeah, you do. I'm like the oh, I'm like the lonely housewife that just buys Amazon stuff all day. All day. You are. I really I've been trying to tell you that you're just like your mom. Oh, gosh. <laughs> the realization hit him. He had his aha moment. That's enough for the day. <laughs> Yeah, I do. I just like buy. <laughs> I just like if my kids need something, I just like, yeah, buy it for them and just give it to them because I just see that's probably my love language mm -hmm. more than even quality time. Well, no, because mm -hmm. I like playing it. I like, I but like, do you like my receiving kids. gifts? Some really from you. <laughs> what kind gift. of gifts? <laughs> I don't mind receiving. Yeah, I, I actually don't really like receiving gifts. Yeah, like I it don't. doesn't like if people buy me stuff, it doesn't really do anything for me. I'm like, oh, cool. If they bought you something you wanted. Yeah, but. The problem is, the problem you buy is whatever I just you buy want. whatever I want. <laughs> I so I'm You're like, I want it. It's person. mine. Yep. You're a terrible person to shop for. <laughs> well, just little stuff. I don't buy big stuff. Like I've wanted a Bronco, like a generation one Bronco for like 15 years, what, 30 years. I don't even know how old I am. Oh my gosh. It's like 30 years. <laughs> okay. But, sorry. I'll try. So here's the thing is I listened to this. I was listening to this other thing or learned something somewhere. I don't know. I've heard it a few times now. That like basically you're attracted to the person that will help you uh, grow in life or help you like learn in life or whatever. And not necessarily that that's what marriage is meant for, but it kind of is a little bit. There's obviously other things. So I was actually pondering this. The I was pondering the love languages and I was pondering like that, you know, what mine is and what Brian's is. And I realized something like I had an aha moment today. <laughs> My struggle is relaxing. Yes. yes right. It is. My struggle is relaxing. Yes. And so what like energetically do I need the most in my life? Because so I bring really, it down. because I really struggle doing it is to like just relax and like hang out and just kind of enjoy. Yeah. Right. Life. And that's your love language. Yeah. And so that's like. See, you're I'm saving teaching your life. Me. You are. Teaching you're you. teaching me to do you're that. You're so lucky to have me. I know, right? And your struggle is taking action on projects yeah. or, and finishing them. I wouldn't say necessarily finishing, finishing them. Finishing them. So what about the drinking fountain that sat there um, 
for how many weeks need to be finished? And what about that was because yeah, never mind. I mean, I, I could name a, a <laughs> whole bunch of projects <laughs> that have been started and not completed. That's because my I, I seriously my brain is all over the place. So I'll start something. And then in the middle of that stupid project, I'm like, oh, that needs to be done. So boom, I, I'm go not, be that. I'm and not, I'm like, oh, wait, I'm not that saying other thing needs to be bad. Like, pew, 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 so I'm like, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm know, not I'm telling you. Telling. I'm just saying that that's your struggle. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And energetically, it's like, and, and I've learned about this from different coaches and self-development books, like energetically, that's one of like the best things you can do is like, if you're feeling like stressed out or oh, whatever, like finish a project. Yeah. Finish a project or like go find a corner or a desk or a drawer and just like clean it and like organize it. And that helps you like basically energetically organize your, I don't know. But is that for space. people like you? No, or I is think it it's for, for people like me because well, that doesn't sound appealing at all. That doesn't make me feel better. No, because when you finished, I think you felt really good yesterday. Oh well, yeah. Finished. Because Yeah. <laughs> I think you felt really good before I gave you a hug and a kiss. <laughs> like, I mean that I, I could sit there and say, yeah, but it's just for you. Like relaxing and quiet. But I know, like, I know that that's something that's needed. Even if I don't want it, I know it's needed. So that's, I think something we could learn is even if we don't want it, we could understand that it's needed for our no, I get it. I get it. I'm, Our space and energy and development. I feel like all marriages are most marriages are like that, where there's just like two complete opposite people mm -hmm. and are just like trying not to kill each other. The majority of the time, the other part of the time is like trying to or helping that other person grow. Yeah. That's like really kind developing. of. It is. And then you see the people with easy, super easy marriages and they're like very similar. You're like, that's easy. Like they have all <laughs> the same similarities. They like doing the same stuff. And then they just like have an easy life. I'm like, screw you. Are there that many though marriages? I doubt there's that very have many. It, like, I know easy like, a like that. I know a couple. Do you though? I don't know. I'm I'm sure that there's stuff behind closed doors that we don't know about. Maybe. And maybe maybe if there are those rare exceptions that do just have a meet, maybe they're developing in other areas of their life. Probably. Maybe that. Maybe they're or maybe they're just perfect. <laughs> maybe they don't need to develop and grow anymore maybe. that's where i'm at i don't need any more growing so and that's what they say like when you uh if if you like break up with someone or divorce like typically if you still need to grow in that area you're gonna find someone else it's like <sighs> that's the same thing that sounds awful and you'll Can just you continue to find that same person and like you divorce your spouse because of certain things and then you just go get married and get the same exact thing <laughs> 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 well, I'm just saying. Sounds like you like being married. I do like being married. I'm, I, if I didn't you, like it, I wouldn't be that? here. I'm so, a quitter, guys. And I, <laughs> I quit a lot of things and I haven't quit my marriage. So, so but would you remarry? Would I remarry a, you? <laughs> or like remarry somebody else? If Both. I, would you remarry me? Yes, I would remarry you. Again? Yes, 100%. If you had to go back? 100%. We should ask him that on another day. Yeah, no, I would 100%. <laughs> would I remarry if Holly, if like Holly killed over and died? Uh -huh. No. No, because no. you love marriage so much? Because I love you so much. <laughs> I couldn't even imagine being with another human. All right. That's truth. Good save. Thanks. Good save. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I love languages. I think it's industry. What You should remember the name of the book. We should write it or something, but you guys I'm, should read I'm it. I'm pretty sure it's just the five love languages. Five love languages. But Boom, I think it's it. Gary Chapman, actually. Gary Chapman. Right? Read it. Yeah, I don't know. But Gary Chapman sounds great. Fact check that. <laughs> yeah, fact check it. But yeah, I think it's a good book. There, there's a lot of good books out there. Um, there's more written on the love languages, though, right? Because I swear I've seen like and even like listened to other things about the love mean? languages, like other books written about the love languages. Oh, he's got lots of books written about yeah. it because you can, you know, you got your love language of your spouse. You got your love languages of like your yeah, kids. Yeah, that's right. We had the kids yeah. thing. Yeah, so yeah. Love languages like, of probably friends and. Yeah, nobody cares about that. But like kids, <laughs> yeah, you got to know your kids' love language and your spouse. Yeah. Like friends. It's just like if, if you have the right friends, you don't need to like love them. You don't. Well, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> you don't need to show them. Well, love. it probably just comes easy to you because you're just quality time. So you just want to hang out with your friends. Yeah, exactly. That's and all you I want. Like give and receive love with your friends by just hanging out. That's right. See, and I don't need to show them love. I just hang out with them. <laughs> Those are the best kind. You just hang out. The best kind of friends for me are the ones that like work for me. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'll so. pay him. But but it's like amazing. Yeah. I, I mean, I have friends that have worked for me. And that's why you know she who you has are. no friends. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Or, and I have family, like a sister that yeah. works for me. And yeah. I'm like, oh. And she's like, yeah. You love me so much. You're doing so much for me. And here's your money. <laughs> <laughs> here's your money. So basically you're paying for friends. I love it. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, yeah. Check out the book. I think it's good. Yeah. And tell us if you know what your love language is or go take the quiz and then tell us yeah. and um, what your spouse is. And yeah. Tell us what your spouse works. is. Like yeah. How they, yeah. Do you do you hate their love language? Do you love it? And if you have the same one, let us know how easy it is. Yeah. Because yep. that's I convinced it's super easy. Questions and comments right yep. down below. Thanks for watching. See me, ya. Bye. Bye.